Hey, 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 we back with another one. Sticky TV. Another good Sticky TV energy. Let them know who I'm here with today. My name is Dora Hip, the underscore to you, if it's looking at my Instagram. But you know, they call me Dora because I don't get around. I was here first, ask about me. Straight from Brooklyn, New York. You know, but I live in Long Island. I got a business in Long Island. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a mom. I'm a boss. I'm a model. I'm an actress. I just did Miami Swim Week last week in Miami. Check me out. Google me. Okay, then. Okay. Big motion going on. You know, not the little one. Most definitely. Most definitely. What got you into modeling? I just had to believe in myself and I just like looking in the mirror and be like, you know, you cute. So I said, you know what? I want to walk down the aisle. I want to model. I modeled when I was younger and then I had kids and I stopped. I went into the medical field. You know, I was a medical records coordinator for a couple years and um, now I just want to hit the, hit the streets and go running. I've been modeling. I've done um, Dan, Daniel's leather. I've done his, his leather season, the winter season, and I just did Miami Swim Week. I walk for Marcella J. I walked for just a lot of couple of, you know, a lot of designers. I'm just trying to, I want my name out there. When they say Dora Hip, they like, oh, I know her. Most definitely, most definitely. What got you into wanting to be an entrepreneur? I was in the medical field and they wanted me to uh, um, take the COVID shot. And I was like, yeah, I, I ain't, that's a no for me though. Right. I ain't doing that. Right. And so I had to, it mandatory. Yeah, you make, you, I'm not doing nothing that y'all gonna pay me to do. If you gonna pay that, they giving out free checks and all that, I, it was a no. So I was like, I gotta do something with my money. So I opened up a beauty bar boutique. I opened up a boot, but a ink boutique first, a tattoo parlor. And then my boy, he went to jail, Trigger, he be home soon. And I, I had to do something with the back, so I turned it into a beauty bar boutique. Okay. And you know, girls want to get their hair done, their nails done, they want to buy clothes, you know, and I make it a, I make it an experience, you know, shot o'clock, everybody, you have a good time with me or a bad time by yourself, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big vibes, big vibes, for sure, for sure, for sure. What would you say your favorite occupation is? Making movies right now. Making movies? Yeah, shout out to Luke Steppen. He put me on, he believed in me. I came to him one day like, you know, I can act. I want to be an actress and I, I got these skits and he seen it, he was like, I got you. And right now I'm on my third movie with Luke Steppen. Will Coggins, he looked out for me too. I'm on my second movie with him. Like I'm just, we outside. Oh yeah, it sound like you the kind of found your niche me. I, I listen, you know what it is? When you when you love what you do, you never go to work a day in your life. That's right. You happy to get up. That's right. So what's something crazy to everybody else that you believe in? Say it again. What's something crazy to everybody else that you believe in? What's something crazy to everybody else that I believe in? Yeah, yeah. Common sense. The fuck, common sense ain't so common these days, you know? I'm, I, got, I be telling people, you gotta sharpen your pencil so you can get the point. They just don't understand. That's right. That's, that's, I, be, I believe that common sense ain't so fucking common. Everybody like, it's common sense. I wish they stopped saying that, because I don't believe that. It ain't common. <laughs> <laughs> the ain't common. <laughs>